Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 Before You Buy video. So, in this video, we're going to take a look at the Cultist Dungeon Bundle, which includes a whole bunch of stuff. It includes Head in the Jar, Steel Dipped Skull Torch, uh, Cultist Dungeon Headwear, Cultist Dungeon Outfit, uh, Radiational Test Dummy, Skeleton Ceiling Light, and Helbert. I hope I pronounced that correctly. If I didn't, I do apologize because I am from Ukraine. Sometimes I mispronounce stuff. Now, the bundle sure does looks dope. Gotta tell you, looks really, 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 really nice. Uh, the only thing is, I can see two different headwears here over here. So, which is the outfit? <laughs> I guess I'm gonna... Oh, wait. Scrap that. I think over here on this one they're showing... The war, uh, the war glaive. That's exactly what I was talking about. About these bundles. When you're listening, uh, the items that are included in the bundle, it would be nice to display display the item that we're getting in like PNG. Cut everything out. Cut the ba backgrounds. Cut the poses, schmoses, all of that stuff. Just show the thing that the customer is about to buy. Because this thing got me a little bit confused there. <clears throat> and it just 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 now hit my mind that this actually is the, the skin of the work plate. But anyway, uh, let's not waste some time. Let me buy this bundle and start reviewing. Ooh, I can, man. I just love this outfit, bro. And you can actually play around with the helmet as well. As you may have already noticed, I got a beard growing. <laughs> you see, she doesn't. And he doesn't. And that's the mask on its own. So, the cool thing about this outfit, before we get into visuals and stuff like that, I played around a little bit and I've noticed that you can actually uh, apply uh, the head of wear, like to your chin, like that covers your mouth basically. So over here you can see the Pathfinder mask also kind of like gives it a good good look. Just absolutely love it. Not the best I just noticed that this thing is sticking out. But anyway it still looks nice. Then what we got. We got bandanas working with this as well. Uh, but not the best. Just need to find the best fit for the bandana. Maybe a skull bandana will make the... Yeah a skull bandana looks nice with this one. But yeah I mean surgical mask. We can barely see it. Okay whatever. So I just took a couple of them, uh, just to show a point that you can actually collab your uh, other headwear pieces with this mask. But on its own, the mask looks nice. What I really dislike about this outfit, though, is that you got parts of the body showing. If if it would be hidden and make it like super dark and stuff like that, it would have been a lot, lot of better, like ninja style. But anyway, man. I gotta tell you, this thing definitely looks dope. Uh, so 100% hell yeah to the mask, and you know what I'll say, I'll say hell yeah to the outfit too. I mean, it still looks good. I mean, look at that. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> so happy that I managed to grab this. This is insane. So this is how it's gonna look on the lady characters. So this is the lady mannequin, as you can see. Looking all good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mm mm mm. Hoo hoo. Telling you, this is probably going to become one of my favorite outfits, man. So I want to see how I can collab it with. To bet you can't put a Santa Claus hat on top of the mask. That would be really, really nice. But you, you can. Basically, it will remove. So, any, like, hats or whatever. I tried a few and they all didn't work. So, just have that in mind. But who knows? I mean, this is uh, <laughs> Bethesda, and uh, it could be uh, like one of the hats eventually will uh, actually go on top of the mask. But nothing that I've managed to find, and I didn't take. Well, I didn't try it with all of my uh, top head awares because there's just too much of them. And uh, you know, my time a little bit here in Kiev is a little bit limited as we have uh, power issues. Anyway, so that's the outfit. I absolutely love it. Just like, like really, really love it. <laughs> uh, for those who are new to the game and uh, you don't know how to get the outfit as soon as you've acquired it from the Atomic Shop, it's actually all pretty simple. You'll need to navigate to your 
armor workbench once you've made the purchase go to your craft for the head aware for the mask you go for the head aware then you find cultist uh, and cultist dungeon mask same thing you will do at the outfits find cultist and dungeon outfits so there we go we got all of that covered now let's move on to the next item all right so the next item on the menu will be the skin for the war glaive uh, which is called halberd if i'm not mispronouncing it if i did please do let me know down in the comments and gotta tell you this thing looks dope as well like really really nice i mean would you look at that that's how it looks from the third person then we're gonna jump to uh the first person then I'm going to show you how you can apply the skin and then I'll show you with which display cases this weapon uh, can be applied to. I'm talking about the weapon displays, those over there. And unfortunately, only two of them can uh, display this weapon. But hell yeah, I mean, look at this. Looks really, really nice, like dungeon style, horror style, like crazy style. I mean, whoo I love it. To be honest, visually, looks really, really nice. This is how you can, what you see when you're fighting. Of course, you can scroll out. I mean, I need to be a little bit careful not to trigger the build menu. So there you go. Looks not bad. Although I'm not a melee build, but if I were and I were to be using war glaze, this is definitely the skin that what I want. <laughs> you can collab that with a lot of different item, uh, outfits. Uh, there, I already kind of like have a couple in mind. Uh, but yeah, I mean it still even looks freaking nice with this outfit makes you like a I don't know How do you call those guys that uh, in uh, medieval would chop the heads off <laughs> of the guys who are doomed to die <laughs> I forgot uh, Never mind skip that part, but anyway the skin really really looks sick So first person mode that's what you get true Look at it. Oh Dangerous Armed and dangerous, man. That's what's up. All right, so uh, I think that's more than enough to let you know how that works on the first and third person. Now, in order to apply the skin, essentially, you need to navigate to your armor workbench, click modify and repair. Of course, you will need to have the actual weapon. So this is the work life, and you need uh, the plants. Honestly, I forgot how you acquire those plants. I think through gold bullion, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you can look it up on Google, just Warglaive, Fallout 76, Wiki, and voila. <laughs> You'll have all the info there. I honestly don't remember, I don't even remember the last time I even actually got this gun. So, luckily for me, I already had the plant learn. Or I might have even been mistaken, it's not gold bullion. So, just Google on how to get the weapon plants and you will be able to craft it. Oh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Then you click here, uh, click standard appearances and apply the skin, right? So then you have the skin. Do I have any sort of... No, I don't have any plant mods for it. So unfortunately I can't test. Usually when you apply mods, the skin should also change a little bit. So unfortunately I don't have any mods for this uh, type of weapon. But yeah, I mean the skin, the weapon looks freaking insane. I mean, you, you see this, right? This is good. This is what I like. Alright, so then it works with this weapon. Display case. So you can display it. Boom. Actually it looks nice. I haven't the had the chance to actually display, prepare it. And it's not eating the skin. Like this one. Some, with some melee weapons, even this display case is eating like a little bit parts of the skin. What this one does. I mean, in my point of view, it's like perfect. A little bit sticking out over here, but that's no big deal. I mean, yeah, definitely. Does not work with a small one, does not work here, does not work on any of these, does not work on this one, And but it does work on this one. I also haven't applied the skin yet to this one, because this one is the most problematic uh, <laughs> weapon display, because usually it's eats up like more than 50% of anything you put into it. And... Oh my lord! I am surprised! Wow! It actually did not even eat half of the skin. Wait, hold on a second. Did they fix this? Hold on. Let me apply something else. Uh, damn it. I cannot believe this. 
Even the samurai looks good with that. Well, I, for some reason I got this feeling that they haven't fixed it. Uh, let me put this gun for example. Uh, my bad. Oh wait, actually I have a gun. There you go. A sign. Yeah, no, they haven't fixed it. Well, that still eats parts of the gun. Well, maybe at some point, someday, it will actually gonna get fixed. But anyway, I mean, you saw that. The skin actually looked good. So, hell yeah, let's go. That's actually really, really, really nice. Uh, let me just kind of like refine that. Where are you? Oh, it's right here. Well, uh, okay, so remove this and assign this. So I'm gonna quickly put layer mode off, show to you like this. I think this is more than enough to get a feeling of the weapon, but honestly, I'm very surprised that this display is not eating half of the skin as uh, usually it does. So hell yeah, looks nice. Let's move on to the next item. All right, so the next item we're looking at is called Head in the Jar. It's right here. And uh, once you're in your build menu, you can find it at the floor decor section. And well, in my case, I had to scroll a pretty decent amount. I also have other uh, heads and bottles or whatever. Uh, so I thought that they would be in the same line, but it turned out to be um, separated for some reason. So anyway, that's where you find it, and then it all depends on what you own, what you've discovered, and stuff like that. So uh, let me quickly show it to you right over here from all sides, and then we're going to go to the dark corner because for some reason uh, this item also emits light. So I'm going to show you that in a second while we are done with this. I mean, it's all pretty straightforward. Just a head in the jar. <laughs> now, let's go. I'll show you. Oh, man. There you go. Run! When it's in the dark, it makes light. <laughs> so, yeah. That's uh, pretty much it for the head in the jar. Boom. All right, let's move on to the next item. Man, this bundle is just getting better and better. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is dope. So if you want to build that, and that is called Skeletal Ceiling Light, uh, you will need to go to your light men uh, menu, and then you'll find this little bulb, and then all you got to do is scroll all the way until you find it in your dropout. So there you go. It actually goes uh, in with uh your light budget unfortunately i would honestly bethesda please if you could change that not included uh it does not drain electricity <laughs> so you don't really need electricity to build this thing uh but there you go it is what it is uh scrap so it does not look like it emits a whole bunch of light like this room is pretty dark but still it doesn't look like it makes a lot of light. It is what it is. Anyway, uh, let me go to the bigger room so I can show it to you from all sides and we'll just make it float so it'll be easier. All right, so there you go. Look at that fire, man. Oof. Absolutely love this. As I said, this thing just keeps getting better and better. This is definitely a bundle on my list. Definitely <laughs> in my list of recommendations of getting it. You can make a really... You know, actually, you can collab this Halloween style camp building and stuff like that. This is amazing. You gotta... I gotta be honest. Let's move on to the next item. Alright, so the next item is called the Steel Dipped skull torch i hope i pronounced that correctly and uh in order to build it you once again needs to need to go to the light uh section of in your build menu and then you will need to find it 
I believe you should see this light first so it's like a wall light right and then you scroll through all the skins that you own and eventually you will find what you're looking for so once again this thing does go with your uh, light build budget so as you can see 50 out of 50 for me no more room for that you can't really interact with it so it's just fire oh man I just love this thing look at that let me bring that closer Cheek put something in the middle over here something dope oh man i'll just stand here <laughs> hey the hell oh ho, ho. look at that man i got the right pose for this thing hold on <laughs> don't ask me where i got that pose i don't remember probably one of the seasons because i don't remember buying it uh yeah there you go look at that that is just nice i'm extremely happy that i bought this bundle to be honest and i think we got the final item on the list so let's move on to that item and take a look at it all right so the final item within this bundle it's called radiational test dummy honestly when i first read the test dummy I'm like test dummy like like test dummy like you can hit it and actually show how much damage it is well it's not <laughs> so it's uh, an item that you can build it's located in the floor decor section it stands on its own well in my case it does and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same thing for you because I own a whole bunch of stuff and uh, if it does for me so I will, my best guess uh, it's gonna be the same for you so also it looks like uh, you there's no limit of how many of them you can build right and they do need power so if you'll have a power connector over there not far from your dummies they will uh, work kind of glow you know that, that guy's still glowing oh yeah I have another connector there so you can make yourself an army of dummies man too bad you can't dress them up but if you interact with it you just turn them off basically so boom but you can build yourself a whole bunch of a big army man I was trying shooting I was hoping this would be actually cool Bethesda write it down in your uh, idea generation create us a, a test dummy where whom we can shoot and can see how much damage we initiate to the dummy <laughs> it will also help uh, help out a lot of different youtubers out there who are making like gun reviews build reviews and stuff like that so Bethesda man write it down to your uh, suggestion list or whatever idealist and deliver <laughs> all right so uh, let's me turn this thing on and let's take a look at it quickly through the photo mode so you can see it man I'm not even gonna show you the second round while it's switched off because uh, essentially this bundle is already already really really good I mean definitely in my recommend list of getting I mean I love the outfit I love the skin for the weapon I love those lights it's just in my opinion is definitely worth it boom so yeah ladies and gents this is where I'm gonna be calling it the end for this video so I hope you enjoyed it and if you did you know the drill don't forget to smash that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube nobody see them nobody can read them nobody can respond to them so do have that in mind if you got positive negative feedback feel free to comment the only thing I ask of you is not to swear simple as that and if you're new and you subscribe welcome to Z Klein I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine so hi from Ukraine once again thanks all for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one and by the way as of recording this video which is the 14th of December 2022 there is a war going on in Ukraine so if you're open to charity I will share two different links to two different funds created by the NBU which stands for the National Bank of Ukraine one fund is for military the other one is for humanitarian so if you're open to any charity donations uh, feel free to use one of those links and thank you for all the love and the support so I'll see you all later I guess <laughs> man I gotta tell you this bundle was really really nice